Yes, yes, welcome to another video. I'm Lewis and above me is Jordan and we're here today to discuss that brilliant performance. 5-0 win against Arsenal at the Etihad. It was, a, it was a really good win and I think what everyone needed now going into the international break. Uh, before we get into it, guys, let's set a like target. 1,500 likes is the target, so smash a thumbs up on the video if you do enjoy it. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new and make sure you hit the notification bell uh, go check out our sponsor which is uh, today it's Manscaped guys Manscaped have uh, just released this recently the brand new 4.0 lawnmower the lawnmower isn't to cut the grass but it's to cut the grass on your balls boys don't become part of you, you want to become part of the smooth gang head over to manscaped.com use code extra it's X-T-R-A and you'll get yourself 20% off and free shipping it's got a mega charge it's wireless it's waterproof it's got a torch on it as well so you can even shave your balls at night uh, right where to start well actually there's only one place to start it's the striker situation and uh, Torres you know he's, he's, he has impressed me at striker before today and today he's come in there I think to be honest he, he was under a bit of pressure to deliver uh, given that we don't have a striker and he's now the man filling the gap but he, he, he smashed it bro his movement off the ball he's finishing he's just top class yeah he, uh, he looks insane he looks insane he looks, he looked really good towards the back end of last season um, it was unfortunate that he didn't really get a, a, a good running of games. Uh, I think Cancelo got sent off in one of the last games of the season before the Champions League final, so we didn't get to see him then either. Um, and he, he looked decent then as striker, so we always kind of known that he has this natural finishing ability. And he's coming to his team, he started, he started as the striker for us. It's very clear that he seems to be our number one striker at the moment, um, now that Gabby's moved on to the wing. And I'm all for it. He looks really, really good. He, he, he makes some really good runs in behind. Um, his actual his actual control of the ball is very very good as well, and he, I mean he has a few tricks in there. Mm. Um, honestly, he looks mint. He looks really really good. I was so buzzing to see him up top today again. And one thing that we've said is he needs to work on getting involved a bit when off the ball. It's a bit difficult to see that because we're not off the ball too much today. Uh, but hopefully he can work on that game like, moving forward and stuff. But. I'm so buzzing with Ferran Torres and uh, in the stream you gave him man of the match didn't you Britt? Uh, for me he was my man of the match and we'll go through the player ratings in a moment see who, who had the extra club members um, picked but I just thought it was fantastic I think he's finishing for me, he's, he's, he's probably the best finisher in our forward line. Definitely. What, what I said in the um, in the stream and what I'm going to maintain is Fran Torres now needs to be given a run of games. He needs to be given 10 matches in a row where he just plays. And even if he has a bad game or even two bad games, he stays keep, in there. He needs to there, have yeah. the confidence that he is now our striker. There's no point in pulling him out, putting him in. He's got to be given that run. Um, and I, I really want to see that after the international break. I'll be, I will be frustrated if Torres doesn't start up top. He needs to be given that run to see how he can get on. Uh, another player who I thought was absolutely fantastic again today was uh, Gabriel Jesus, a player who's come out and said he doesn't want to play striker anymore. He wants to play as a winger um, and you know on that right hand side he's sprinting I mean I think it was for the first goal a ball over the top from um, <laughs> Bernardo Silva and it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't the best ball yeah, I, I actually thought it was going to go out for a, for a goal kick but Torres kept uh, not Torres Jesus kept on chasing it he chased it down he won the ball ended up putting the cross in and Gundogan headed it in it was fantastic for him and he, he just gives you so much energy so much work rate on that right hand side and whether he plays on the right hand side or whether he plays on the left, I do think Gabby now is should be considered a winger. Um, but the way he's playing, he's got he's got to be in the team every week at this point. The thing is, it's all right going to heaven saying I want to be a winger, but you got to deliver the goods the goods on the wing as well. Right, you can't yeah. just say I want to be a winger and then you go on the wing and then you're still trash. You know what I mean? Yeah. But he is actually delivering performances, and obviously we're playing against Norwich and he played there. Then he played really good, and we said in that he needs some consistency just like Torres. Uh, so he played again there today, and he played really good. He looked, he looked honestly unreal on that uh, on that side. Obviously, he got himself an assist. I think he might have got two assists. You know, I, I don't know. Uh, he definitely got one assist. Obviously, with that with that crossing, which was which was perfect, a perfect cross into the box. But there was there was time and time again where he was delivering balls into the box, which were creating chances, which is what you want from your wingers. He was doing little reverse passes, something that you'd see Mares do. He was balls yeah. into the box, accurate straight to the player's feet, like a Mendy cross kind of thing. Honestly, he's looking really good, really good as a winger. Um, and long may it continue. This could be pretty much the start of Gabby Jesus. You know what I mean? It, 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 Second career at City, almost. We could. It's almost like having a new, a, a, a new signing mm. as a winger, and it's good competition for Mares as well because 
Maris holds down that right spot, that right side spot at the moment. Yeah. But Gabby's really, really going to push him. Yeah. No, I agree. I thought Gabby was absolutely fantastic. And another player who actually, during the stream, I actually gave this guy man of the match, and it's Rodri, um, before... Torres got his second goal, and at that point, I, I, I meanly stole the Man of the Match award off Rodri and <laughs> give it to, for, to Torres. But Rodri today was absolutely phenomenal, um, mopping up. His passing was ec excellent. He was uh, he was aggressive, and the fact he got a goal, I mean, it is harsh not to give him Man of the Match, but you know, I'll give it to Torres for the reasons I've already, get, um, already described. Look, this guy now, he's been at the club, what is this, his third year, I think? Um, he's done all right since he's been here, but I think this is the year now that he really needs to show that Look, he is going to be our long-term centre defensive midfielder or centre midfielder. I think he's got the potential. I think he's got the ability to do so. He just needs to put in them consistent performances. And uh, this is, for me, this is his year now. You know, Fernandinho's, we're going to pick and choose when Fernandinho plays, obviously, given his age. And Rodri now has got to nail, he's got to nail this position because if he doesn't, City will go and replace him in the summer. They'll go and get another, they'll, get, they'll go and yeah. get someone to replace him and he'll be the backup centre mid. Do, does he want City to buy a fifty million pound centre mid, so then he's the backup, or does he want to? Does he want City to go and buy a twenty million pound who'll be a backup to Rodri? That's the question, and it's in his own hands. So, great game today, and uh, hopefully he can put a run together. Yeah, he honestly looked mint for him. He just need, he needs to keep Fernandinho out of the team. He needs to be putting himself in a position where he's absolutely he's one of the first names on that team sheet. And with these with the past two games, you know what I mean. Uh, he 100% he deserves to win the team sheet. He does this thing where he suffocates teams, keeps us on the attack, which is incredible because it keeps us going forward. It doesn't give them any space to move. Yeah. It's mint, it's mint, honestly, mint game. No, brilliant, brilliant. Right, let's get into the player ratings. These are decided by our extra club members. Uh, if you want to become a member and you want to have an influence on these ratings, become an extra club member. The link is in the description. There's also a join button below us. Uh, right, let's start off with Edison in goal. Uh, a bit shaky in the first half, I've got to say. He did get better in the second half, but uh, he got an 8.2. Uh, Kyle Walker gets an 8.7 Diaz very strong 9.5 and Laporte a, a very strong I think that shirt's definitely his uh, with a 9.6 Cancelo with a 9.4 so very strong across the back uh, across the back line yeah it was good as well because we didn't have too much to do defensively you kind of seen a lot more from like the the width of the pitch like with I mean, even Walker was getting forward a little bit but then obviously Cancelo came he, he was right back in the second half and you've seen him getting very involved he probably should have got a goal himself uh, midfield wise, Rodri obviously we said before he had a mint game. Now he gets a nine point eight. Bernardo with a nine point five. This could potentially be Bernardo's last game he plays for the yeah. football club. There was uh, people seeing him crying on the bench like multiple times. He was crying when he went off the pitch. Uh, so I think obviously that that does show that this could be it. It could be it for Bernardo. That could be his last game, and I think he's feeling. That At least well. he went out with a bang roll because yeah, he put in yeah, a great put great, in a great performance. Shift. Well, one thing that you got to applaud Bernardo for is the fact that he's not wanting to be at the football club for the past twelve like to. 14 months, whatever it is, the past 12 months. He's not wanting to be at this football club. However, he gives 100% on the pitch every single time. Yeah. And that's something that you have to drive Perfect in, professional. for. And uh, Gundogan rounds off the midfield with the 9.8. He was the BT Sport man of the match. He had a very good game as well. Um, you know what I mean? They're all, they're all putting up really good performances. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, Grealish got a 9.4 on the left side and Torres and Jesus got a 10 out of 10 by the extra club members. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rule... I'm going to rule that for me, Torres gets the man of the match. I think he was under a little bit of pressure given what's happened in the last 48 hours and the lack of a striker, and he's delivered the goods with a goal. So I'm going to hand it to him. Um, the sub should be on screen, and Pep Guardiola got a 10 out of 10. So, to sum up, a brilliant performance. I think it's just what we needed um, as City fans and as a club. We got, the, we got a win, but we also got the goals and a good performance. We go into the international break now, hopefully... You know, I know a lot of the players probably won't be going, won't be travelling, but uh, hopefully no one gets injured and we can come back after the international break and really kick on. Obviously, we've got the Champions League draw. That's obviously happened. So we'll have to see uh, how we can kick on. Hopefully, we can put a bit of a winning run together. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, smash a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Be sure to check out our sponsor, Manscaped.com. If you've got a hairy ball sack, use code extra, XTRA at Manscaped.com. You get 20% off and free shipping. And we will see you in the next one. See you in a bit, guys. <laughs>